welcome to the fifth lecture of electronic devices and circuits today we'll be studying about hall effect so let's start with its statement now it says that if a specimen metal or semiconductor carrying the current i is placed in transverse magnetic field transverse means perpendicular normal magnetic field b then electric field e is induced in a direction perpendicular to both i and b so first of all what can you deduce from this statement let me just draw it if this is my x axis this is my y axis and this is my z axis from the statement what i can understand is let me change my pen color that suppose i is flowing in this direction i is flowing in this direction and suppose b is here because it should be transverse to the current so suppose this is my b okay in this direction my b is there this is my b then an electric field is induced in the direction perpendicular to both i and b perpendicular to both i and b means here here my electric field will be induced which is as a result of this i and b now let's understand it in detail now suppose this material is of n type okay so if the current is flowing in this direction the direction of the flow of electrons will be opposite so suppose a electron is flowing from this direction to this direction okay and the magnetic force is acting like this on this electron this is the direction of b right so now a lorentz force will act on this electron which is given by f is equals to the charge on this is minus q and suppose the velocity with which this electron is traveling is v which is in which direction minus of x and cross product with the magnetic which is in which direction z are we clear till now now the cross product of this direction will give us minus y so if this force is acting upon it then this will force this electron into the minus y direction which is here so this electron will go like this and accumulate over here okay now second electron what will happen to it again it will accumulate over here what will happen to the third electron again it will accumulate over here due to which this side will become more and more negative and this side with respect to this side will become more and more positive so this will give rise to a potential difference which i can say that this is the positive side this is the negative side like this and we will call this voltage as the hall voltage actually this effect was given by a scientist whose name was hall so that's why we call it hall effect so now what we know that the electric field is equal to voltage by distance we know this so this a hall 
electric field will be generated due to this hall voltage and therefore we say that if a specimen carrying conductor i is placed in a transverse magnetic field then an electric field intensity is induced in the direction perpendicular to both i and b right now why the force is upward in positive y direction because this force is given by minus q into this and this was acting in minus y right it was acting in minus y so the overall direction is y now let's have a look at what things you have to remember regarding this concept for gate exam first of all we know that and we should know that the electric field intensity i'm taking the mod because the values can be positive or negative it is equal to the hall voltage sorry it's mod upon the distance and the unit is volt per meter okay so i can write that vh is equals to e into t please don't get confused both are same sometimes i write it like this and sometimes like this both are same okay this is the electric field intensity right the first important formula that you should remember is v h is equals to p i upon rho w now there is a whole detailed uh, derivation that how we get this formula but trust me it's not important for gate exam and here we are studying just for gate so i'm skipping it but the important thing you should know is that you should remember this formula and should know what this these terms are first of all this rho is not resistivity this is charge density here this is charged density okay and this charge density 1 over rho is r h which is not resistance but this is hall's coefficient so this one is the first important formula for gate related to this concept please note it down so if i am saying that 1 by rho is equals to rh can i write it like this b i rh over w and can i deduce that vh is directly proportional to rh right this is the second important thing you should remember the third important thing that you should remember is that the charge density rho is given by charge into carrier concentration and the unit will be coulomb per meter cube okay fourth thing again about the whole coefficient rh was 1 by rho is equals to 1 by this charge into carrier concentration and the unit will be the reciprocal of above one and from the previous formula of whole voltage i'm writing it as over p into i okay so now the important thing you should remember about 
Hall coefficient is that if the value of R H is equal to negative, it's a metal. If it is negative, it can also be a semiconductor, but which type of semiconductor it will be? It will be a N type semiconductor. And if the value is positive, this is a P type semiconductor. Okay, this is important. This formula is important, and of course, all these points are important. Fifth thing for the Hall voltage, we now know the formula, which is VH is equals to VI over rho W. For metal, the value of VH will be negative. Similarly, for the N type, just like in the previous case, the value will be negative. And for the P type, the value will be positive. And what if the semiconductor is intrinsic? Well, the value for the whole voltage for this case will be zero because N is equals to P. Now, one more thing they might ask in gate is about mobility. So, the mobility is uh, from the Hall's experiment from the Hall's experiment to mu can be given as 8 by 3 pi to conductivity into the Hall's coefficient or if this can be approximately given as this because the value of this is very very low okay so that's all you should know about uh, Hall's experiment and Hall's concept and Hall voltage so let's have a look at the uh, question a doped semiconductor has RH is given as this and rho is given as this. Assuming single carrier conduction, the mobility and density of carrier in the specimen approximately are given as. So now we just studied the formula for mobility, which was I'm using the approximate one. So this was like. Right. So, first of all, you have to check the units here. So, this row is not the charge density, which we just studied. This is the resistivity because the unit here is ohm per meter. Right. You have to check the unit. This is where you can go wrong. And that's why they will give this type of question in gate because students, they just see the question and they go blind and they don't check the units. So, this is our resistivity. So, I can write it like this. And let me just put the values 3.6 into 10 to the power minus 4 over 9 into 10 to the power minus 3. So, this will be approximately 0.0. .0 Four. Now it is asking for the density of carrier. So we have RH and RH is given by 1 upon again rho. But this one is the charge density. And what was the formula? 1 upon charge into carrier concentration and this is what we have to find so the carrier density 
or the carrier concentration will be given by charge which is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 into Rh which is 3.6 into 10 to the power minus 4 and the answer would be 1.73611 into 10 to the power 22 per meter cube. Right. Now let's do one gate question. So this question was asked in gate 2006 for 2 mark and it says that the majority carriers in an end type semiconductor have an average drift velocity v in a direction perpendicular to a uniform magnetic field b the electric field e induced due to hall effect acts in the direction so you have these four options and you have to answer yes so in hall effect effect what happens is that the electric force plus the magnetic force is equal to zero. Is equal to zero. This happens under the equilibrium condition where both of them are equal and opposite. Okay, so now the value of this is QE plus what is the value of this q v cross b this was it taking i'm taking q common so e plus v cross b is left so e is equals to minus v cross b or i can write it as b cross v so this is the answer and this was asked for two marks right so we successfully completed hall's effect topic now see you in the next lecture that's all for this one